Welcome to Snoozer Storytime Adventures. And how are you doing today, Snoozer? I woke up with lots of energy. I'm ready to start a new day. Oh, it's nice to wake up full of energy. And you saying that, Snoozer, reminded me of a great story that I'd like to read today. What is it? Well, it is called A Blessing for Spring's Child. And it reminds everyone of all the wonderful things that happen in spring, which is kind of like waking up to a new beginning. Who is that on there? Is that a mouse? That is a mouse. And this is another Bushel and Peck book. It is called A Blessing for Spring's Child. And the words are by Peter Hinckley. Wow! Can we read it? Yes, we can. And it is going to remind us of all the beautiful things that we see in the spring. A lot of flowers, too. And I, there's nothing I love more than spring flowers. Oh, and here we go with cherry blossoms to start off our book. Dearest child of spring, may the promise of your season always live within you. May each day bring the hope of the early crocus. These are crocus flowers. Oh, they pop up right at the beginning of spring and they're purple and it always reminds me that spring is starting. I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. The delight of the waking tulip. And that's another thing that pops up in the spring. Beautiful tulips of all the colors of the rainbow. And the sunshine of the smiling daffodil. They smile? Well, they certainly look like they're smiling. They almost look like little sunshines. Another spring flower. May the spring be ever at your back. Ah, feel the spring rolling in. Do you feel the wind on your back? Yes, if I use my imagination, I feel wind! Whoosh! <laughs> and the sun warm upon your face. I like the sun! I like the sun too, and I like just being in the sun and having it warm my face, just like in this book. And the grass soft beneath your feet. I don't have feet! I have wheels! <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. I was going to say, hey, snoozer, isn't it nice to feel the grass on your feet? And then I was kind of looking at you thinking, you don't have feet. All right. May you soar like the robin in life's sunny days. Oh, I love seeing robin in the spring. And I like how it's telling the child to do all these things like soar like a robin. Run like the deer in its shady forests. I like deer. They are cutie pies. They are. Bend like the willow when the wind blows. Mrs. Hamilton, what is a willow tree? Well, this is a willow tree. And see how it just kind of, its branches and leaves kind of whew, billow out. It's a nice place to have shade, but I could also see when the wind blows, how it just blows in the wind like that. It's pretty. And always have the strength of the ancient oak who knows that no storm lasts forever. That's just beautiful. So even in hard times, you think of that old oak tree that stands because no storm lasts forever. So even bad times don't last forever. They always just pass through. May you always be filled with the hope that is your season. The season of life. The season of birth. You see a lot of new birth in the spring. A time when every day can be a new beginning. 
May all of spring remind you of what joy you are to the world. The birds that sing for you, the frogs that jump for you, the buds that bloom for you, the brook that laughs with delight at the very mention of your name. May all your days burst with the joy and color that are your birthright to have. The red of the primrose to remind you to be bold. Primrose, that's another spring flower. But the red of the primrose reminds you to be bold. Don't be afraid to say things. Don't be afraid to try new things. The orange of the monarch to remind you to fly. The yellow of the daisy to remind you to smile. The green of the lily to remind you to float above life's challenges. The blue of the lupine to remind you to climb high. The violet of the pansy to remind you to be true to the royal within. For you, child of spring, are all that is good, all that is bright, all that is beautiful in this verdant time of year. And that makes you special indeed. Ah, oh, what a beautiful story. That was one of the best stories I've ever heard. Hey, I think so too. And it really made me, when you said I woke up ready to go, you always bring such joy, Snoozer. You're always happy. Even though you don't really smile, you exude a smiling person and your bright colors just bring joy to every day. And I want to read that every year when the spring comes. That's a good idea, Snoozer. A very good idea. All right. Well, since we were talking about all the beautiful colors of spring, that reminded me of one of my favorite songs called Rainbow, Rainbow in the Sky. Wow! Rainbows. Rainbows are one of my favorite things. Oh, that's good. Do you like this song? We'll probably sing it two times because then you can sing along the second time. It's got all the colors of the rainbow in it, all right? Here it goes. Rainbow, rainbow in the sky Full of colors, my oh my Red and orange and yellow too You certainly do. And guess what, Mrs. Hamilton? What, Snoozer? I have a third color on me that is in the rainbow. Hmm, what color is that? It's orange, because red and yellow mixed together makes orange. You are absolutely right, Snoozer. Ugh, oh, we learn something new every day. All right, well, since we're talking about rainbows, I thought it would be fun to make a rainbow craft. Well, this is what we're gonna need today to complete our craft. I'm gonna cut up the pieces and then we're gonna put it together. All right, we're all ready. So I'm gonna put these in order. And we gotta remember we're gonna glue them on 
so we can lift it up. So I'm gonna put the glue here. This is Hamilton! I know the order of the rainbow. You do? All right, give it to me. Red is first, and then orange, yellow, green, um, blue. Ah, I forgot the green. And purple. Ooh, all right. Got my song in my head. That helps you remember the order, but you already know the order, but song helps me remember the order. I gotta make sure I glue these on the right way. I gotta flip them over. Otherwise, when I lift it up, we're only gonna see white. All right, here we go. Red and orange and yellow too. Green and blue and purple. Ooh. Rainbow, rainbow in the sky. Full of colors, my, oh my. Well, what do you think? Great! Ah, oh, and we can hang this up, or you can hang it up somewhere, and it'll remind you of all the beautiful things in spring, but also all the beautiful things the book talked about. Being bold, starting each day anew. Ah, oh, there's just so many wonderful messages in that book. I can't think of them all. And all the animals come out. That's right, and the flowers. So always have the strength of an oak tree snoozer and run and fly and enjoy each day as a new beginning. I will see you and all our friends next time. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even